It is time to put some of your COVID-19 questions to the medical experts. Tonight, we are joined by respirologist Dr. Samir Gupta and emergency room physician Dr. Tazleem Nimji. Hello to the two of you. And I'll warn you both right now, uh, warn you both right now, we have quite a few questions about masks coming your way. So let's get right to it. Number one, uh, Dr. Gupta, this is for you. Canada's chief public health officer recently put out a series of tweets giving advice about how to use a homemade mask responsibly. Are we doing a 180 on whether masks are beneficial? I think there is a bit of a 180. Uh, you know, the guidance from our public health uh, officials and from the CDC from day one has been that public masking is not effective. Uh, I don't think we ever really had enough evidence to either support or refute that, though. And for many countries, as you know, that was part of the playbook for COVID-19. The reality is we do have a shortage of medical grade masks in our hospitals. And that's where I think this, this role is coming in for cloth masks for the public. Is the bottom line in your mind that people should be wearing them then? I think the, the reality is that we don't have the scientific evidence, but we have enough anecdotal information to sort of draw a line to say that, you know, this is probably reasonably safe if people do it properly. And it probably reduces the risk, particularly because we know there's a lot of asymptomatic transmission of this virus. Mm. And we know that cloth masks will probably reduce people's droplets from going out more so than they protect them from other people's droplets. Okay, Dr. Nimji, how long is a typical mask good for and why? So the, the masks that there's been questions around expiry dates, right? So masks that have expiry dates are generally the N95 masks, not the uh, procedure masks, which are the ones that are being, being worn, certainly out in the public and worn by, uh, by our healthcare staff when not doing airborne procedures. Uh, and the the reason, and no one's really done studies to say, you know, how far past an expiry date can you use a mask? So I couldn't, I couldn't answer that question. I don't think that anybody really can. Uh, but we don't, we want to make sure that the mask, we maintain the integrity of the mask. And so that's why we on the N95. Because how long can you wear it before it stops being effective? Yeah, so the what you want to do is not be wearing it for such a long period of time that you're then being exposed to multiple different people with that same mask. It's the risk of cross-contamination that we worry about. Mm. But if you're wearing an N95 over the course of the day during your shift, and that we have nothing to say that that wouldn't be okay and that it wouldn't be safe to wear that. The worry is around touching that mask that might be contaminated on the outside and then touching yourself or someone else. Dr. Gupta, time for one quick question, quick answer. Should we all cover our mouths and noses when we're out in public, even if it's just with a scarf or a bandana? I think this comes back to the cloth mask question. And those cloth masks are probably effective at preventing our own droplets from getting out probably not so effective at blocking other people's droplets. So do it, but then don't let your guard down. Still physically distance, still wash your hands. Dr. Gupta, Dr. Nimji, thanks so much for your time.